We all know that the high mortgage rate environment we've been in caused many potential home buyers to put their plans on hold. But those same high mortgage rates also caused many potential sellers, and you yourself might be one of them, to put their home selling plans on hold as well. If that sounds like you, then I've got some good news. You are in the right place because in this video, I'm gonna share two reasons why the downward trend in mortgage rates is creating a unique opportunity for anyone considering selling their Frisco area home this year. So let's get into that right now. Hi, this is Andrew with the Andrew Smith team, EXP Realty in Frisco, Texas. And, you know, we more typically associate mortgage rates with home buyers than we do home sellers. But decreasing mortgage rates is an absolute game changer for anyone considering selling their home. Now, as you can see on this slide, mortgage rates peaked back in October and have been on a downward trend ever since. Now, I will say we did see a slight increase in mortgage rates last week due to the economic data that was released, but the overall trend is expected to continue down with many experts calling for rates to be around 6% by the end of the year. Although some of those experts are even saying that we could see those rates sometime by summer. Now, although 6% is a lot better than where we've been lately, I realize that those rates are still well above the 3% that we've all kind of been become accustomed to. And those rates that we saw, those post-pandemic or during the pandemic rates, they're now being referred to as happening during the unicorn years. Uh, and they're being called unicorn years because they're very difficult to see. And it's very unlikely that we will ever see rates that low again. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that we'll never see it again, but I wouldn't place a bet on it. Now, as Dean Baker, the senior economist at the Center for Economic Research said, it also appears that mortgage rates are now falling again. They will almost certainly not fall to pandemic lows, although we may soon see rates under 6%, which would be low by pre-Great Recession standards. Reason number one why the downward trend is good news for anyone planning on selling their home is that it is going to reduce the mortgage rate lock-in effect. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with that term, it's basically referring to the fact that homeowners have been reluctant to sell. They've been unwilling to give up their ultra-low mortgage rate in favor of a higher one. I mean, it makes sense after all. If you've currently got a 3% mortgage on your home, for instance, you're really going to need to be in a position of having to sell in order for you to sell that home and then go buy a new one at, say, 7%. But as mortgage rates fall, that gap narrows and it becomes an easier pill to swallow. Now, if you'd like more information about the mortgage rate lock-in effect, I went into more detail in another video I put out recently, and I've got that link for you right here. Now, Lance Lambert, he's the founder of ResiHub, and he recently noted that we might be at peak lock-in effect. Some move-up or lifestyle sellers might be coming to terms with the fact that 3 and 4% mortgage rates aren't returning anytime soon. Now, saying that, I do want to point out that there are opportunities in this market, especially with new construction, to obtain, to obtain financing that's well below current market rates, as that is where the builders have been focusing all of the their incentives. Now, if you'd like any additional information on those opportunities, as well as a program that would let you buy a new home before selling your current one. And that way you avoid a rent back or you avoid having to do a double move. Then give me a call. My number's up on the screen right now. 
or in the description below, I've got a link to my calendar and you can go ahead and schedule a call with me at your convenience. And I'd be more than happy to share information about those programs with you. Now, moving on to reason number two, falling mortgage rates is good news for sellers because it will boost buyer interest. Now, that doesn't really come as much of a surprise or it makes sense when you think about it. And we are already seeing a surge in buyer activity as rates become more favorable. Frisco has and will remain in high demand based on everything that's going here going on here. There's all kinds of new construction, as you know, there's entertainment, there's the PGA Center, there's the fields development, there's companies moving in. All of that is making sure that Frisco stays in high demand. And as those rates come down, it means more buyers can afford a mortgage. Now, for an example, a 1% decline in the mortgage rate increases a buyer's purchasing ability or their purchasing power, I should say, by about 10%. So the pool of potential buyers continues to expand, which results in more favorable selling conditions. Now, a recent survey was done by Bright MLS on buyers that took themselves out of the market last year. Why, in fact, did they do that? And as you can see, high mortgage rates were the number one reason that buyers put their home search plan on hold. Interestingly enough, inventory was the second reason. And as we start 2024 here, we are already seeing an increase in the number of homes for sale over what we saw last year. Now, if you'd like to get an idea of what your home might be worth in today's market, in the description below, I've included a link to my free online home valuation calculator. So go ahead, check that out, and that will give you a rough idea of where values are in the market currently. Now, I hope that you found some value in this video I've done for you today. If so, please consider hitting the thumbs up and subscribing to this channel as I release new videos just like this one each and every week. And if you've been considering putting your Frisco area home on the market, I invite you to schedule a call and let's put together a plan to help you navigate this market so that you can get the best possible outcome in the sale of your home. Now with that, I'd like to thank you for watching today and I hope that you stick around and enjoy one of these videos coming up next.